What's going on guys, Kyger here, and we've got a lot of new players recently, especially with the collaboration that just happened a little bit ago, so I want to do an updated fairy will guide. I'm getting a lot of questions that I've answered in past videos, but there's been some changes over time, as well as just reiterate some things. I think it would be a good idea to just go over them in a more updated fashion. So... Also, they made it a real fun change very recently to make this even easier. So just get some terminology out of the way. Fairy wills is just the entire section. This, this entire system is uh, wills. And you, we have the will cores and will generations. A lot of the time, people will just shorthand it and say wills specifically focused on the cores uh, but we want to do the terminology cores and generations uh, both of them are very very important but they are very distinct that we need to talk about now fairy cores are the uh, actual core like orbs that you get right here and we'll just use this one right here as an example and talk about it in this way so uh, you can see it's at plus 35, and that's because as an orange one, every plus 5 from 0 to 35, as you see, uh, these uh, purple ones over here are at 25, uh, the orange ones can go to 35. Every plus 5 gets a roll. It rolls something. Either, as we see down here, a stat, as you can see, uh, it, it actually, with this newest update, it makes it so much easier to explain. As you see right there, slaughter four, as you can see, orange, and then the number four. That means it got four rolls on there. And then you can see two rolls HP, two rolls defense, one roll uh, damage increase. And you can also see the orange, uh, sorry, purple right there notating the rarity of the stat so once you have these stats then it starts rolling so every plus five has a chance to make a roll now the numbers don't add up on this and that's because the will core itself an orange one for example starts with if it has a skill like this one slaughter it starts with the slaughter with one roll and one stat which in this case was hp with one roll then the first two then uh over the course of the next seven rolls you can uh, get increases on the slaughter or a stat or an, or a plus on a stat so what you're looking for here is, as you can see, it's a slaughter level four. That's actually not the greatest. It's just what I have right now. What you want is a five or a six. And why that is, is back here on the main page, if we go to bonus attributes right here on the top right, you will see will core skill slaughter level four. So you'll also see will core skill in white text at the top over there on the right with a little hamburger menu next to the word skill. If you click the w right next to it right there, skill preview. It'll show you right here up in uh, orange text at the top. Deployed parries, the level of the same uh, core can be stacked. I've had the question, what about my assist fairies? Right here it says very specifically for deployed fairies. Deployed are your four active fairies. And as you can see right here, it'll show us the level of slaughter. So there's level four slaughter that I have right now. So as you can see, it goes up to a max of 12. So ideally you would have two sixes, which would make 12. I get the question, should I have three fours to make 12? And the answer is going to be no. Uh, the two uh, good strategies to go for, in my opinion, is... Uh, if you do have three fours to make 12, right? Let's say you go down that route. What happens 
if you're doing rolling on another core and you get a five or a six, then you're just wasting at this point, right? So you either, in my opinion, assuming everything's a six, you want two and two. You want two of one skill and two of another skill, ideally. There are some builds that I see that are very viable that go two of one, then one of one and one of another. For example, something like just the round names, not saying these are the builds, uh, two slaughters, one fierce attack, uh, one rigidity. I, those don't really, that's not really a build. That's not really what I'm suggesting. I'm just saying names to just put place order, placeholders here. Um, ideally you would either go two and two or two, one, one. And those are very accepted and very good strategies, depending on what you're going for. Uh, so then we have wheel generations. These are these bottom parts down here. Now you'll also see it has the same kind of thing down here, set bonus. Uh, it can go to level four and that is your four deployed fairies. They can add up as well. As you see right here, soul hunt level one. If uh, I just have one, it's 5.3% extra damage. But if I have all four, that's 28.9% extra damage. This is generally the preferred strategy, not soul hunt specifically, but ideally you would have all four of one. Uh, I have seen three ones do pretty decently or even two twos, depending on breakpoints. But ideally, uh, a lot of damage players are going for something like break free, which I think I have some right here somewhere. Uh, break free right here. As we can see, when you trigger a core skill, uh, you get crit rate crit damage. Besides, it has in brackets, fighting will and God bless. And that is because right here is a good example. God bless uh, which does not have a trigger. It triggers when combat starts and they're not considering combat start as a trigger. Uh, God bless and fighting will, uh, keep giving you stacks during combat and they don't want to consider this a trigger for, uh, these triggered, uh, generations. So you have to watch out for this. The, uh, only one that does this is fighting will strike and God bless heal. And that is because they very specifically state they work this way. Uh, let's use an example, uh, God bless heal right here. When God bless stacks to the max and then it gives you a bonus. Same right here. When fighting will stacks to the max gives you a bonus. Now, if you just want to work on a set of 10 fairies for your team, then uh, your four uh, deployed fairies should look this way. As for your six bench fairies, you want to look at stats. Because remember, you're not getting this set bonus of trigger core skill. You will, however, get the two set bonus, which is plus uh, 40 crit. Now, you also want to look at these stats down here on the bottom. Uh, even if I have a full four sets of break free, I'm still going to be leveling up more break free to look for better stats down here. Uh, as you can see, you have uh, white and blue, which are kind of low priority stats. Even plus eight attack isn't really anything, right? Plus 32 defense, even with two rolls, isn't really worth anything, right? Uh, as you get higher in levels, you're looking more for those big percentage stats like down here is really, really good with the equip fairy defense plus 6.15%. Uh, that is referring to, go here to earth, go to marigold, her defense right there. Uh, 6,732, it's giving you an extra 6% of her defense to you, uh, which is a bigger stat boost than most things. Um, as you get later and later in game, now that we have level 210, people just hit 210 about a week ago, three, four days ago, and then we're going to be working into 220, uh, coming shortly. And as we get to higher, higher levels then these things are going to be more and more important. 
Now, as far as which wills you should be going for, uh, I think ones that people are going to like the most uh, for damage builds, uh, crit builds, uh, you're going to want, in my opinion, two slaughter and two fierce attack, at least in uh, PvE. Uh, if we take a look, do I have any on me right now? Uh, fierce attack, I probably have some down here. Oh, no, 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 not that. Okay, so uh, slaughter, fierce attack. Uh, fierce attack, when you trigger combat, gives you... It's effectively the opposite of God bless... Sorry, of rigidity. Because rigidity, when combat starts uh, after three attacks, gives you a defensive bonus. Uh, fighting will is the exact opposite. Sorry, um... Fierce attack is the exact opposite. After three attacks, you do bonus damage, but the bonus damage is a percentage of uh, their HP. And in PvP, it's obviously extra damage is extra damage, but you get way more of it in PvE. Uh, same with Fighting Will. Fighting Will is actually very good in PvE, something like Guild Boss, or if you're doing long battles. Uh, in any other PvE context, which would then also be Fighting Will Strike. But if you just want a bare bones, this will always be good uh, core build for a damage dealer. I would suggest uh, two, uh, uh, two Slaughter and two Fierce Attack for uh, PvE and for PvP. Uh, you can keep that fierce attack if you just want extra damage is extra damage. But if you have good CC or if it's something like top league where someone on your team is going to have some good CC going, two nightmare can actually be a world of damage. Uh, you can also mix and match those other two spots however you see fit. But the two slaughter are guaranteed it needs to be on your loadout. As far as down here, it depends on if you're a crit build. Uh, most damage dealers, at least right now, are leaning towards the crit build, which you would want uh, for uh, break free. Uh, some people use the first portion name. Uh, I like to use that second portion name, uh, remaining ashes, uh, and then break free. Uh, I prefer using the second uh, terminology. A, a lot in the community have been doing that, but I have uh, received questions pertaining to the first slot name, and that doesn't uh, really matter to me. Um, remaining Ash, uh, sorry, uh, Break Free. Uh, so, uh, DPS builds, looking for something like that. As far as tank builds, uh, specifically tank builds. You want uh, two God Bless, two Rigidity with four God Bless Heal. Uh, you can, depending on your uh, HP thresholds, you can put uh, some Super Strength in, depending on what you need. Uh, if they have a bunch of uh, healing, more anti-heal is good. If uh, they are squishier, more attack is good. And as I said, for your Assist Fairies, you're looking for something like uh, this super strength right here, as you can see, damage reduction 1%, uh, which is good. Uh, and then you, if you have this in one other super strength, you get that uh, 40 break. And then you pair a two set of uh, super strength, for example, with let's say a two set of this break free right here for 40 more crit. Break, you get 40 break, 40 crit. That's okay damage things. You can just have those on your bench. Two set, two set, plus good substats down here are what you're looking for. Now, I am going to be having a video either tomorrow or the next day uh, going over uh, a cheat sheet I'm trying to make with uh, a designer that's helping me with the graphic itself. I'm putting in the information they're putting in the graphics. It looks really good in my opinion. Uh, we're making cheat sheets. I want your opinion on what you want to see on it down below. Um... Right now, the one I'm going to be showing is going to be Gladiator PvP. It's going to show uh, Gladiator top left, and then it's going to be three sections talking about three different PvP spots. Uh, the three that I'm going to be covering are Top League, um, 
Shrine and Guild War and it's going to be full loadouts for all three letting you just look at it and say okay this is what I want to do it's also going to have the patch on it so you know okay this is the 1.32 build so when you're looking later for one and it were in like 1.44 and you find the 1.32 you're like okay this is not the updated one let me go find the updated one uh, I think that's going to be really nice. Let me know what you think down below. Until next time, guys.